What's up? It's Elise, and we're back here with another edition of Why is this board so freaking amazing? And our freaking amazing chord for today is this one right here. It's an E flat major, and we have the triad in first inversion in the right hand and octave in the root for the left hand. And it's very low. Now, I understand that this topic is very subjective, but you can look back centuries to some of the biggest composing names out there, like Beethoven and Mozart, and you can see that I'm not alone in my opinion. Let's start with the key. Why did these composers love it so much? Well, the first reason is about orchestration. Before the 1850s, in other words, after both Mozart and Beethoven were already dead, many instruments were very different. What we know today as the French horn, for example, was then called the natural horn, or the horn in E-flat. This instrument had no valves, so it relied solely on the player's embouchure and hand and bell technique, making its range very limited and it a lot easier to just stick to its natural E-flat major tuning. The second reason comes down to tuning. Today, we use a system called equal temperament, which means that the frequency of each note changes at the same rate as we move up and down the scale. But back then, they used something called mean tone temperament, where the further outside the key of C you got, the distance between the note changed more. So certain keys, like F sharp major, for example, sounded like absolute trash. Because of these reasons, each key really did have its own specific feeling. So when composers like Mozart and Beethoven wanted to convey a different mood, they would usually use the same key. So D major got its reputation for very happy, and E flat minor got the reputation for very dark and somber. But E flat major was heroic and bold but melancholy. So, because we've heard these same themes in the same keys over and over and over again for the past few centuries, we have kind of subconsciously associated them with a key, even though our tuning system has made it so that every key doesn't really have a huge difference. So that's why E flat major is so awesome, because it's been associated with these themes of you know, triumph and finally getting what you want and heroicness and love, but it has that melancholy undertone. And not only do we hear it a lot in music, but we also may be hearing it without even knowing it. Last year, an artist named Oliver Beer took pots and pans and containers from now to thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, and he put microphones inside them to see the frequency of them and so that you could hear the noise like listening to a seashell. And when he did that, he noticed that the most common note of all over thousands and thousands of years was E flat. Okay, we get it. You like E flat major. But why is this specific chord so awesome? Okay, so left hand first. When you're doing any chord that that that's that low, if it's in, if the left hand isn't in root inversion, usually it can sound kind of muddy and disgusting. Like, so here's our chord. That's so pretty. And here's it in second inversion. It's still very pretty, but it's not final. But when we put right hand in root inversion, we've heard it so many times before that we're bored by it. So, here it is. It's very pretty, but we hear it all the time, you know, with the root on the top, you know, we hear it so much. But if we try it in second version, it sounds kind of weird. Well, that's just because it's the wrong key, but this is, here we go. Like, it's pretty, but having this note on top, which is the dominant, makes us think of... The dominant itself, which still feels like it needs to be resolved into the actual root key. So when we have that on top, we're reminded of that and it doesn't feel as 
as final as it should. But finally, we have the third on top, which is one of the best notes for harmonies. Anyone can do this harmony on top of any pop song. It's just always so beautiful and simple. Thanks for watching. This has been Why Is This Chord So Freaking Amazing.